So the short answer, does this weld good? Yes it does, better than most hobby grade welders I've used. In this video I take an in-depth look, do some flux core and some MIG welding, so watch for more details. Okay, so here we have the cheapest IGBT inverter MIG welder here on eBay. So this was £159.99 pence, including shipping, uh, which is, I mean, I don't know how they do it, I honestly don't. Uh, when I consider that I brought this uh, little flux core wire welder here around about seven or eight years ago, a little 90 amp flux core wire welder. And this thing was 90 pounds, 90 to 100. I think it was 90, it was on special offer at the time. You can still buy these and I mean, they're good little machines for what they are. But here we have an inverter based MIG welder, which is a DC output. It also has the um, stick welding function and it's also a gas or gasless MIG welder as well. So let's take a look at it and uh, see what it's like. So the people who delivered this, uh, they pretty much kicked the shit out of it, honestly. Uh, it was TNT. Box of accessories. So you get a lovely welding mask. To one side. And you get your stick electro holder. Which, uh, I mean, it's quite, it's, what does it say? It's a 300 amp electro holder. It's got a nice bit of copper in there. Looks pretty strong. Actually says Germany on there. Hmm, don't know. Could it be made in Germany? Well, the electro holder anyway. Uh, and then we've got uh, some cable on there, which is just uh, 16 mil copper cable um, with the, what are they now, I can't remember now, the DINs 1025s, so it's the smallest connector you can get, obviously at £159 delivered, you're not going to get anything that decent and you're probably getting about 1.5 to 2 metres at most, let me know the, how long it is. Yeah, 1.5. So 1.5 on the electro holder, and then we've got the earth or ground here, which also is around 1.7. So obviously uh, you're probably going to need to replace these at some point or um, if you've got a piece of 16mm wire extend it with some uh, crimps or something but I would probably suggest buying new wire at the moment it seems to be quite cheap for some unknown reason 16mm welding wire you also get a nice little chip and hammer with brush on it, wire brush that will come in handy possibly and then also here we have the Euro style MIG torch and I mean obviously uh, when you consider that a, that a decent um, Euro uh, MIG torch uh, can cost you you know £150 for a brand name one but uh, here we're getting the torch as well as a welder for £159.99. Uh, also there's a couple of spare tips there. I'll just get this out of the way. And also there's a manual in there. And as you can see in the bottom there, it's, the box has been pretty bashed and dropped because the welder has fell through the uh, cardboard box. I mean, it's not particularly well packed, I wouldn't say. You know, it's not got a lot of padding in there. 
It's got a reasonably thick walled cardboard box. But that's about it. And yeah, this has been pretty much kicked about by the uh, delivery company as well. So we found these two bits of uh, plastic as well, also in the box. So you can tell that it's been dropped. And, I mean, the box doesn't look particularly damaged, but uh, there are some, you know, like uh, bruises on the box. It shows where it's been dropped or whatever. But the uh, plastic has actually come from underneath here. Just in here, there's these little, um, little strips here. Right, so we'll take a look around. So, there we go. I mean, it looks reasonably nice. There's a little dent down the bottom here, actually. There's a small dent up here as well, where the uh, screw has either been screwed in too far, or it's been hit here. Um, there's the gas inlet for your argon CO2 or argon, depending on what you're welding. Seems to be a 120 volt outlet there. I don't know what that's for. Hmm, interesting. Uh, power switch here. A little fan here. It gives you the duty cycles on mix mix side. You get 100% duty cycle at 103 amps. And at 180 amps, you get 35% duty cycle. On the MMA, or stick welding, you get 100% uh, duty cycle at 89 amps and 35% duty cycle at 160 amps and the total input power is 15.7 amps so obviously we're not going to be able to uh, run this at full power on a 13 amp socket you would need a 16 amp uh, hookup for that but we should I mean you probably be able to run it up to I don't know 150, 160 amps, I'm not sure. And then we come around to the side panel where the spool goes. So it looks like it would, yeah, it should definitely take a five kilo spool in there. Because that's a lot larger opening than on my flux core wire welder. All right, so there you can see the uh, wire feeder assembly. It's quite a nice unit. And I don't know if you can see down the back there, where the light is at the point at the moment but there's rather beefy 1.5 amp 24 volt motor in there and it's definitely larger than in my other two hobby grade welders so it should be able to push the wire through consistently the spool holder is all plastic it looks like with a threaded metal rod through the center so it should be quite durable and then also up the back there you can see where you change the polarity it's quite a tight fit in here and we come around to the front okay, so let's switch it on so we've got the euro connection down here to plug the torch into and then the other two connections for stick welder and for the mig welding as well up here we've got a LED display and then a feeder button. I presume this is for when you put your spool of wire in there and you first uh, feed the spool through the gun. Usually I have these inside the side panel but obviously on this one it's on the front here. Up here we've got your MIG and stick welding switch. Here we've got a little LED here to tell us when it's overheated. Down here we have feed speed, wire speed. Nothing happens when you turn that, so. And then here we've got the current. All oh, right, that changes. So it goes from zero to 204. And then here it says inductance. Uh, I'm not completely sure what that is. I've never had that on a welder before. So I'll quickly set this up with some flux core wire and test it out. Okay, so pressing the wire feeder button in the front there. And 
You don't wash fruit. Okay, so I've got my argon and CO2 hooked up, and I've also got my solid core MIG wire in here now, uh, 0 0.8 millimeter. So let's take a look at some of the welds that I've done. So this is the welds with the flux core wire. Now I don't pretend to be any good at the flux core wire. Uh, I can never really see the paddle properly. So it is what I've done and I couldn't really get it dialed in properly because I hadn't had enough time with the machine. But they're not, I mean they're not overly bad. I mean as you can see there, it wasn't hot enough and I was, it's not too good. Uh, it's getting a little bit better here. And also here, these were getting slightly better, but nothing to write home about. Uh, ignore that, that's completely nothing to do with this welding. And so not particularly good on the flux core, but that's not the machine's fault, that's uh, my fault. So now we'll go over to the uh, solid core MIG wire, uh, which is where I'm a little bit better at. So these are the welds, uh, these here was just where I was trying to set the machine and dial it in properly. Uh, so there's a couple of beads there which come out reasonably nice actually, not too bad at all. And there's a lap joint there which seems to come out reasonably good. Another one there and a bead beside it. And yeah, not too bad, not the best, but not the worst either. So 
out. And I was starting to get the machine dialed in a bit better. So I come up with these welds here, which aren't too bad at all. And then this come out particularly good. I mean, these are on machines that I own myself. These have got to be because I've only got hobby grade machines. These are like the best welds I've ever laid down. I've got to admit, and I think it could probably put even better welds down than this in a person who's proficient at welding. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it, I've got to say. Uh, the welder, the machine is definitely better than the, than the welder anyway, I would say. The wire feeds nicely and it's got a nice smooth arc. I may not have had it completely set up right because I'm not used to this machine. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it looks really decent for the money. I did actually put a some cloth over it while I was welding next to it so I didn't want to get weld spat all over it. But yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, I'm presently su pleasantly surprised with it, I've got to admit. And uh, also, I my gloves are a bit burnt up, so my finger was getting scorched, so that weren't helping. Just a small excuse there, you know. But yeah, I mean, it seems like a decent machine. I mean, I had it um, set up to... 140 amps. And I don't know the wire isn't. It's not. It's got graduations on here, and it's like zero to ten. So it's like on seven or something, something around that area. The wire feed was, and the current, as I said, was 140, and the inductance so I just sat in the middle because I'm not really sure what effect that has on the weld. So I thought if I stick it in the middle then, you know, 50-50 chance. Yeah, so, I mean, if you're interested in getting one of these, um, if you go onto eBay and search uh, IGBT Inverter MIG Welder, uh, you're bound to find it, because it's the only one that's £159.99. So, I mean, I can't really you know say the quality of the machine how long it's going to last and that i don't know it comes with a one year warranty i'm not i'm not sure what that's worth you know i just took a chance on it pretty much as i can't couldn't really afford a six seven hundred pounds welder so i just you know took a chance and we'll just see how it goes if anything goes wrong with it or have any problems with it i'll make another video in the future yeah, so I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, please comment down below and let me know what you think of this machine. Uh, what you think of my welding. No, don't, nothing about the welding. It's not, I know it's not very really good. But, uh, yeah, comment down below. Please subscribe. And then, if I make any more videos on this, I'm probably going to make uh, a video on the stick welding side um, in the next couple of weeks. And I'll probably be making some projects with it, uh, like some rocket stoves and some other stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.